In this video, we will see how to monitor the health and metrics of a Spring Boot application using actuators. Using Spring Boot makes it extremely easy. Essentially, entering one dependency in the Maven dependency file and we are good to go. Of course, we can then customize the sensitivity and the amount of info displayed. So here is an existing Spring Boot app I had built earlier in which we are building a few REST services. Please watch my video Building REST based web services with Spring Boot if you want to see how it's built. Currently, it is running in the embedded Tomcat and we can access it using http localhost colon 8080 slash persons slash all to access all the persons and http localhost 8080 slash persons slash one to access a specific person. Here slash persons is the base request mapping path. If you were running it on a standalone Tomcat for instance, then the URL might be something like http localhost colon 8080 slash demo, which is the context path for the demo application slash persons slash one. All right, let us add the health monitoring for this app. So let us go to our Maven file and add one dependency. Let's right click on the project, go to Maven and then add dependency. Let us type in spring hyphen boot and it shows us the various dependencies. Let's choose the Spring Boot Starter Actuator and choose the latest jar. Click OK. And here in the pom.xml file, we see the dependency added over here. And this is all which is needed to add the health monitoring support. Let's restart our application. So let's stop it. Start it again by right clicking on the project and choosing to run it as a Spring Boot app. Now you would notice that in the console, the various endpoints mapped. So the slash info, slash trace, slash env, slash metrics, slash shutdown, etc. Let us see some of these in action. So let's go to http localhost 8080, which is the base URL since we are running it in embedded Tomcat, and then append it with a slash health, and it shows us that it's up. Let's change it to HTTP localhost 8080 slash metrics and here we see the JSON output. Let me format it. I'm using a Firefox plugin, JSON formatter over here, but you can use anything else to format it and we can see a bunch of useful metrics in terms of free memory, instance uptime, etc. Let's change it to HTTP localhost colon 8080 slash env, format it and it shows us a lot of information about our server environment. Let's change it to point it to trace, format it, and it shows us the various calls serviced by the app and statistics regarding that. So let us access the info for person ID 1. Let's open another tab and type http localhost colon 8080 slash persons slash 1. And now let us go back to our trace endpoint, refresh it, scroll to the bottom, and we can see the call and its statistics here. Very cool. And all of this without writing a single line of code. If you want to know all the possible endpoints, go to Google, type Spring Boot Actuator's endpoints, and it will bring you to the results. Click the one from docs.spring.io, and here you can see all the endpoints with their descriptions. There is a sensitivity property for endpoints and some endpoints which are sensitive will require authentication. And you can customize the sensitivity, enable or disable an endpoint, and even change its ID. So for instance, the health endpoint we saw earlier just gave us a cryptic up status message. That is because it is a sensitive endpoint requiring authentication. Let's customize it. So let's go to our project, to the source main resources folder, and go to the application.properties file. Start typing endpoints and a dot and the IDE conveniently shows us the various endpoints. Let us continue typing health and it narrows it down and shows its various properties. Let's choose sensitive and make it false. Let's save the file, stop our app, start it again. Let's go to the browser and type http localhost colon 8080 slash health formatted and this time it shows us a lot more info like the disk space etc. 
If there was a database in use with the app, it will show the database info also. So in this video, we saw how to enable health check for our Spring Boot app by essentially just entering one dependency. And with zero coding, the amount of useful health and metric info available to us is really impressive. Not only that, it is super easy to customize these endpoints. Thanks for watching.